welcome back. So we are jumping into episode seven, <laughs> seven of MASH season two. And we ended off uh, last week. Sorry. We ended off last week with um, MASH going up against Margaret. Like that's what's going on. There are one V1s essentially. So let's get into it. Let's see what happens. It's called MASH Burn Dead and the Magical Maestro. Wait, are they? Oh, this always happens during an exam. We get like, um, was ambushed or something. Is that what's gonna happen here? And then maybe MASH is gonna really like pop off during this. And then people are gonna be like, oh, damn, respect. Sorry. Anyways, let's go into it. But it's giving that a little bit. Just like we're going to feel cheer. And they always gotta pull up on an exam <laughs> all the time. The fact that he really goes around saying, like, spine magic, like, this dude really, <laughs> magic. <laughs> he knows dang well there's no magic. Child, I don't have no glasses on. What am I doing? It's just really okay. <laughs> Go sit in a sun. <laughs> no way I can just be. Is that what you call you? <laughs> this is for my own age. Bro, ain't no way. those wasted seconds back. <laughs> mm. Um. I mean, earplugs would help. No, oh, am I tripping? Wouldn't it? Is it just me or would earplugs nullify sound attacks? Am I crazy? Or is it like the way? Wait, what, does that make any sense? Is it like the pressure? <laughs> like, I don't know. Mm. Yeah, you need some really good quality uh, earplugs for that. Technically, I mean, should you even be able to hear after, like, having blood come out your eardrums? Anime logic. I'm gonna just leave it. Couldn't you have just, like, jumped real high? <laughs> and gotten out of there easy? I thought maybe underground as well, but I'm like, couldn't you just go in the air? But I guess if you wanted to do that, then going underground makes sense. And I guess it cancels the sound. I don't know. He got up and said, Get yourself off a try again. <laughs> 
Yeah. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Like, his limits are only going to show when he, he has to, like. Guillotine kick, he said. He said guillotine kick, bro. <laughs> are we doing a, a pummeling child? No. Oh, we are. Okay. He said these hands are rated E for everyone. Cause <laughs> this is what I'm seeking. Metamorphosis. Are you transforming? Literally get out of here. You have <laughs> what? Guilty. True. Why true form? What's wrong with the other one? Why aren't you watching? That lightning was on cue. <laughs> Yikes. <laughs> wow. Oh my. <laughs> oh my, oh my, oh my. <laughs> yeah, I don't think that's what it is, dude. Formidable foe. Cause you might be fast, but you're probably not fast, like stronger than Nash, like, right? So it's like, he can withstand quite a bit of your attacks. Now I have you. <laughs> Why was that so funny? <laughs> Sound transfer? Sound travels faster through liquids. Then gases and he, so he was feeling the ground. He was feeling the earth, like earth, but he was feeling, yeah. Wow. Dude, this, isn't this exactly what I described last week? Like this is how MASH is. Like he'll surpass his limits depending on his, the attacks he's having. So he's like, we don't know his limits because he's always countering kind of vibes more so than like just full on offense. And so we discover over time what he's capable of based on what he has to do in the moment. Oh. And he's really smart, as you can see. Like, he's really smart. He's strategic in a match. Okay, so what about them audience members? I think he could do that. I think he could do that. Feeling the ground and everything. I think he could do that. That's what I'm saying. Oh, I wonder if it'll affect the Innocent Zero pulling up. <laughs> Imagine. <laughs> Why 
What if we destroy the bell? <laughs> what if we destroy the bell? Oh, why don't you go underground again, like real deep? <laughs> Okay. Oh! Maybe he can read. Maybe he can read what you're gonna do. No, I. Maybe he threw something on either side. Hold on. Hold on. Nah, he thought of this. No. Oh, you're <laughs> his pinky. That's his whole hand. Ah! Oh! <laughs> that made me think of another iconic match: Hunter, Hunter, go. Yeah, oh, sorry. <laughs> if you know, you know. I don't know. I was just giving. Yes. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> and mind you one thing i have to give margaret credit for is the fact that yes mash won this fight but this fight is still within the means of competition like he gave um how should i say an ultimatum like get this wand and then like but a fight to the death or a fight to like you know, beat down, I defeated you, like, you're knocked out, like, no, you know, we, we haven't seen yet if MASH could push Margaret to that point. So, it still leaves it open to, like, Margaret still being stronger than MASH, right? We just saw MASH overcome this challenge, but not necessarily actually defeat. Oh my god, yeah, and I wanted to say this. He definitely learned from dude right there about the whole blocking off opportunities. Like, literally, when he was playing that game, isn't that what he did to him? There you go. Oh, that sound was so good. <laughs> that sound effect was really delicious. Fire Force kind of murders that stuff. <laughs> Why can't I see Mash just going up into the air and just claiming a dragon and just riding it? <laughs> Zawardo? Zawardo? Can they just grab him and go? Ain't no way. I didn't think I'd find you alive. Brother. Son, I was about to say, I was like, child? Oh my God, here we go. Here we go again. Here we go again. Ooh, Gigi! Hey! Oh, what if he dies? I feel like there's something about these respectable old man characters that are like, Leaders in a way in anime, like they tend to die. <laughs> I don't like that. They tend to die like hero heroic deaths, but still. <laughs> gosh. Oh my gosh. Okay, so Muskoyo. Doubt that's in the literal sense, but again, who knows? Right? Mash Burn Dead and the Tall Tower. You know what though? Mash could get abducted, and I wonder if this is going to result in a mash needs to escape segment or a mash rescue segment mm, all right well here we go so that was good surprise after surprise and again the whole thing like i explained seeing mash just kind of overcome his obstacles 
And Margaret seemed to have been the strongest obstacle that MASH had to face, which means after defeating him, it's like, who else in that exam? I don't think there was anyone else in that exam that MASH needs to be worried about, right? Particularly, so that's really good for him. But we just have another issue at hand, and that's Innocent Zero. So anyways, we'll see what happens next week, guys. Thanks for watching. Leave your thoughts down below. No spoilers, and I'll see you guys in my next video. So thank you, and bye.